Today in the Pedal Vault, the Vault Manufacturing Bonk. The Bonk by Void Manufacturing is basically a deluxe caveman version and the caveman is, well, it's a distortion pedal. So what do we have? We have lots of knobs, eight in total, plus two rotary switches and two foot switches. And of course, we have an awesome blood sprinkled artwork here or a paint job or whatever you want to call it. So here we activate the pedal. Then we have gain low high volume. We have a mid control that should be sweepable with this sweep control here. Then we have a blend control here. It's called meat. I don't know what this is. Maybe this is affected by the sweep control. Don't know yet. And the two rotary switches are basically here we have different clipping options and here we have a selector of different input caps. And now this knob here, I'm not sure if I can show it to you in the uh, EQ curve, but this activates the aggro mode and this is basically a feedback loop, which sounds really awesome on itself. But um, well, again, I'm not sure if I can show it to you in the EQ curve. So everything on noon, blend to full. So we have a volume boost. Gets kind of ridiculously loud. Now gain. Nothing, good. High. Around the 5k. Low, around 100 hertz, maybe a bit higher. Okay, now mid. So here you can see nothing except some low rumbling with the sweep control. Maybe when we activate meat. Nope. Nothing here. Maybe. Nope. Okay. Not sure what this means. The range. Okay, the input cap is nothing that I can show you on an EQ curve. I think the same is for the clipping, apart from some compression or some less, less compression. Okay, let's actually... Okay, and now the aggro mode. Here you can see it basically generates a tone and we can shift the tone. I think the meat is connected to the aggro switch. And uh, what we can do, nothing here, and here are just some different notes, basically octaves. Okay, here's the interesting thing. When playing around with the volume or the actual volume control on your guitar, you can achieve different pitches. The more volume you get, the lower the tone.
Okay, nothing more to show you here. So let's head over to the actual audio comparison. Since this pedal is actually a preamp pedal, I will only show you how it will sound in front of a well, power amp. And therefore I've just one reference tone, which is my go-to power amp sound. And I also don't show you the aggro mode because this will be another video. Here we are. And 
first of all, my initial reaction to this pedal was, okay, what's that? But then I actually understood how to use it properly. Uh, you have to use this in front of a power amp. I well, I had some tests using it in front of a distorted amp or slightly distorted amp and a clean amp, and it didn't sound good. So bad, in my opinion at least, that I even didn't bother making a playthrough here. So, front of a power amp, it's really awesome because you have so much options. What manufacturing is known for its options. And for beginners or intermediate players, there are easily too many options. But once you figured it out, it's awesome, all the possibilities you get. So with the clipping, you get a variety of different sounds that uh, naturally for clipping uh, decrease or increase the volume quite drastically. So you have to adjust with the volume control. But you always get a really nice sound that can easily be shaped with low and high. The mid control here is really special and awesome because you can basically get awesome sounds with the mids decreased and then you sweep the right frequency or with the mids increased and you sweep the right frequency. The range knob here helps enormously and I tend to prefer the lower settings for decreased mids and the higher settings for increased mids. But that's just me. Uh, what I haven't showed you is the aggro mode and a video where I only play with this mode will come very shortly after this video. So be sure to subscribe so you get notified and you should click this bell, I think. <laughs> Anyways, um, what do you think about the bong? Do you own one? Let me know down in the comment section. And if you want to support this channel, you might want to check out the links in the description or you might want to consider becoming a YouTube member. Well, and with this being said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. May the power protect you and have a nice day.